The question you probably have is, do I need a funnel for my business? If you are in sales, yes, you need a funnel. It's that simple. Marketing happens online, it happens through funnels, and it happens in email marketing sequences. So I'm gonna show you how all of that is related. While this video is about funnels, I'm, all gonna, I'm also gonna show you how it's integrated with an email marketing system. So stick with me, I'm gonna give you five reasons why you need a funnel. And before we start, I wanna make sure you understand what a funnel is. A funnel is basically a process that you take somebody through. So in sales, you're making them aware. That's usually at the top of the funnel. You're kind of filtering lots and lots of people in. Notice the funnel is shaped like this. At the top, you're going to funnel lots and lots of people in, but not all of those people will uh, go through your funnel. Some of them will drop out because they lose interest or maybe what you're offering isn't what they want. Maybe they found somebody else selling the same thing that they have already grown to know, like, and trust. So they're going to buy from them instead. So there's lots of reasons people come in funnels, lots of reasons they leave. You don't have to worry about that as much as understanding that lots of people come in at the top and not everybody buys. That's what happens at the bottom. They finally take action and they buy something that you're selling and that's what you want. But you have to take them through a process. Let me give you an example of a simple funnel. While funnels can get very complicated, email systems can get very complicated, I like to keep things very simple. So basically, when I bring people into my funnel, I'm making them aware of me. They found me, they found my content, and they start to watch what I have, and that makes them aware. Then as they go through my funnel, I start seeing what kind of interest that they have. They're gonna stick around because what I'm offering, they are interested in. So if somebody is looking for um, somebody that's interested in NASCAR, you're not going to find it in my funnel. I have nothing to do with that. Um, there might've been something that attracted them, but then they're like, whoa, I don't belong in here. It's just an example. All right. So they get, I find out what their interests are. They are, they're interested and they kind of stick around and they're beginning to get to know me, like me, trust me. And then they'll work their way down the funnel. So the third one is maybe they make a decision that they want to purchase something and they're contemplating it. And then finally they take action. So it's kind of a process that people go through. Now I want to make sure you understand that most of the time, and I'm going to show you in another um, slide here, um, how a person goes through that process. But sometimes they will buy right away and sometimes it might take them months. So don't Think just because somebody goes through this cycle that if they don't buy that you've lost them some people need to stick around for a couple of years you're you're actually funneling them into your email marketing list and that's where sales happen they do not happen on Facebook with you just posting and saying hey I have these new um, I have this new shake and you're gonna lose 30 pounds in two weeks sure some people may say, well, I, I want that. I've been looking for something. I'm going to buy it. But the majority of people won't. You're actually losing sales when you do that because they're not, they're going to be skeptical. That's called spamming. Actually, um, you need to bring them into your funnel, into your email marketing system, into your process, into your system so that they get to know you, like you and trust you. And then finally take that action. I'm going to say that a lot, but it's so, so important. Sales happen in emails, just like I said. This is an example. You don't have to sit here and dissect it, but I want you to see this little complicated uh, email system. Here's another one. Um, you know, you might look at this as a beginner and go, oh my gosh, yeah, it will make you go crazy because it, it, you're going to build up to something like this. But let me show you a very, very simple process. You're new and here you go. Basically, what you do is you have a traffic source. I have YouTube right here and I want to lead people. I want to give them something for free. I'm giving you something for free today. You're going to have a free course on how to build, actually build a funnel that looks just like this. It's 100% free. I'm not asking for your, your charge card or anything like that. And you come into the capture page and you give me your email address. Yes, I need that so I can send it to you. And then I can send you my newsletter and other content that I have built into it. And it's all automated, but you get that free thing that I've sent and that's what you're going to do. And then this is where sales happen in email marketing. Now, does every person buy every product that you show in there? Absolutely not. But you're giving them a sequence of emails and telling them about your product and uh, how it will benefit them. And then you're giving them other content. You're telling them about how it's worked with you and, and maybe other content that has nothing to do with sales. Um, Again, this isn't a, it isn't about email marketing, but it's integrated with email marketing. So that's part of your funnel is the email marketing sequence.
So keep it simple. I can't stress that enough is either if you're new. And then as you start to understand and you have your basic systems put in place, then you can start branching off and getting a little bit more sophisticated. I don't want to say complicated. You just become more sophisticated. So let's look at reason number one, why you need a funnel. Number one is customers are sophisticated. Think of yourself when you go to buy something, you go right to Google <laughs> and you start to research it. You don't typically just buy something. You hear it from a friend and you've got the referral from them. And many times you'll still go online and you look it up. So people are sophisticated. They are not just going to buy because you told them to. And that's where your email sequence comes in. You'll say, Hey, you know, I, I started using this product and this is what it's done for me. You might be interested. You're not really selling. You're just showing benefits. The next email could be, Hey, within your funnel, you could say, Hey, um, you know, this is what it could do for you. Where are you at? And then number three, you know, you can, offer some benefits again, but people again, don't just buy things. They're very sophisticated. They're going to research it. And that's why you need to be prepared for that. Now, number two, the purchase cycle is not instant. Think of yourself when you go to buy um, something, especially if it's more expensive, you're going to research it. You're going to see it. Um, maybe 15, 16, 20 times in ads and things. You might see it on commercials on TV. Um, if you're buying something, if you're selling something and you post it once in an ad, let's say that disappears after you've paid for it, it only stays out there so long, then you may have missed that cycle of where people are in the purchasing process. Um, remember everybody's in a different spot. So you may have people that looked at your ad and they're like, Oh, I, I, I remember hearing about that, but I got to do some more research. So they leave your ad, they go over here and they start researching and then somebody else might present it to them or get them into their funnel. And then they get to know, like, and trust that person. So what you've done is just help somebody else. But if you get them into your email sequence and you have the opportunity to present that to them and help them to understand how that product benefits them, they're in that cycle with you and they may be in there and they may purchase right away or they may be in there for a couple of months and then say you know what i remember them talking about that i've done other research and you know so and so has been so good about sending me newsletters and giving me information i'm going to buy from her or i'm going to buy from him so you keep them in your cycle you own them if that makes sense because they're in your cycle and they're not just out there willy-nilly um finding information. They're still looking at it, but when they get ready to purchase, you're the one they've built that um, trust with and they like you and they know you. And that's why they're going to purchase from you. So that's a good reason. Number two, to have that, um, have that funnel. And I want to reiterate, this is your funnel when you build this um, system here. And this is where you've got your customers, your potential buyers right here in your email sequence as you're building that relationship. Number three, that funnel allows you to build trust. You can't do that with a Facebook ad. You might go in, I've seen people, they write this really lengthy, um, book <laughs> about themselves. And, and yes, I mean, some of them are great. They're very emotional, but that's it. I've had one touch with that person. And typically people need to see something seven or eight times before they're ready to buy. So wouldn't a relationship be like that when you date someone, do you right away on that first time that you meet them, you know, okay, I'm ready to marry you. No, you have to have several meetings and several um, times where you can build that relationship and build up that trust. And it doesn't happen in one meeting. Now, some people fall in love in one meeting. We'll discard that, but I'm using that as an example. It's something that you build up that trust before you start sharing more and you start getting closer. And that's how sales are. They, the funnel allows you to do that. And this is just an example of some emails that are in a funnel and you can see how they build up some of the subject lines and some, some uh, things like that. You want your email sequences in your funnel to be so good that people can't wait to see the value that they're giving you. Um, if you're not sure what that is, sign up for other people's email lists or their newsletter. All you have to do is somebody offers something for free. They'll want your email. Go ahead and sign up and see what people are offering and how they're writing their letters. That's kind of how I um, 
learned how to do it and I used people that I enjoyed their value and I used them as examples. I've got like five people. I love getting their email lists and I watch how they do it. I love the content that they provide. I actually have two people that they, um, I can't wait to get their email letter. Let's say that they have so much value in there that as soon as I see it in my inbox, I open it and I read it. One of them is very, very lengthy. The other person's short. I, I like both of them. Um, it's their style, but the content is so good that I want to read their email. So that's how you want to be. You want to have so much value and have such good content that they can't wait to see what you have to offer. And that's building a relationship. That's building trust. Reason number four, email subscribers, it's proven, have a higher conversion rate. These are just different, um, some data that I found. Um, people that use uh, search engine optimization, yes, it's good, but emails are better. Um, this is a rate of spending a dollar and getting a dollar. It's like a, a, a 50, a 100% return on the investment. But emails always win because people have taken the time to get to know their potential customer. They've presented them with value and content. They've given them something. That person wants to give you something in return. Think of yourself even going to buy a car. We just did recently, so I'm going to use that example. We stopped at like six or seven different car lots and when we stopped in that car lot and a person acted like they could care less, they, they it was kind of like, well, what, how can I help you? You know, we're getting ready to close. Okay, well, we yeah. they just kind of acted like it was a job. We didn't even want to buy from them. It's like, you're not even putting any effort into this. Why would I buy from you? But then when you're with that salesperson that says, hey, you know, we don't have anything today. There was one guy, they, they didn't have anything on the lot, but he took our name. He called us back. He put some effort into that sale. The only reason he didn't get it is because he didn't find what we wanted. But we, we said when we left, we want to buy from, from that person because they really are putting some effort into it. And it works the same way here on the internet as well. And very quickly, sales funnels increase lifetime value. It is proven that about 15% of your people in your funnel will probably buy from you. So if you have a thousand people, that's like 150 people um, will buy from you. Of that 15%, one third of them will come back and buy again. And you're like, yeah, but that's only 5% of the thousand. But those 50 people will actually make up most of your sales because they'll come back and they'll spend three times as more as other people. And this is when you start getting more sophisticated. I just showed you a very, very simple funnel. I'm gonna show it to you again. Um, very simple where you're collecting their email um, and you might bring them to an affiliate offer. Maybe you bring them to your offer, but this funnel starts getting more sophisticated. You start doing upsells and downsells and one-time offers and things like that. Your funnel becomes more sophisticated. This is what you need to do if you're a beginner. And I've got a free funnel course below and it will show you how to build that very simple funnel to help you start collecting and capturing those emails so you can start building up your customer base. You have to have somebody to sell to. We have the one funnel away challenge. A lot of people have been through it. I'll, I'll put that link down there too if you want. Um, it's by Russell Brunson. And in 30 days, you learn how to build a funnel. But the problem is many people go into that training. It does cost $100 for that. And it's well worth it. But many people go into that training and they don't understand that, yeah, you might have this beautiful funnel that you built, but it's meaningless if you don't have somebody to sell to. So it's kind of a catch-22. You have to build the funnel. Get those email addresses, concentrate on that in the beginning, get that list of potential customers, then go back and say, okay, now I'm ready to bring it up a step. Now I'm up ready to up my game and get more sophisticated and start selling more through my funnel because now I have somebody to sell to. So I'll put that link there too. I don't know where you're at in your business, but if you haven't been through that one funnel away challenge, I highly, highly recommend it. But I want a disclaimer there. You still have to have somebody to sell to. You can't just build a wonderful funnel and not have anybody to sell to. All right. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I work really hard trying to give you those basics that you need to get started in your business. And like I said, there's a free course um, so that you can build that funnel and see what it's like and then become more sophisticated from there. Oh, that was a tongue tire. All right. I'll see you on the next video, folks. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.